Hey guys, remember the local game store I was opening in Houston? I ran into some financial issues. I just don't have the money to do a background check on our employees or potential prospects. It's very sad and I'm coming here with my hands cupped to ask you for a dollar. Can I have a dollar so I can do background checks necessary to keep my current employees safe as well as myself and potential children in our play area. We really need the money. We re really need your support. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. Of course we can afford a background check. It's the cost of business. It's the cost of every business. Why would we not? It's $30, $35. All right, let me go a little bit over uh, the store. The store, unfortunately, Presley has been sick. In the last two weeks, these worked one day. And the previous two weeks before that, she worked like four days, which isn't really great because we are behind launching the store. Now, the issue here, uh, I'll just give you a summary because you might a lot you might ask, can I visit the store? Can I visit the store? Yeah, you can. It's just that we I don't want to disclose the location until it actually looks like a store. It looks like really crappy right now. Like there's no other way for me to say it, except Presley was supposed to be the lead. And when the lead is sick for the last four weeks, that with the flu and uh, some other issues, we are way, way behind in what we need to do. That's why you haven't seen a video of Presley for some time. Those videos actually were all made the same day. So yeah. Anyway, back to the background check. There are some things that just are the cost of business. A background check is very minimal in terms of what a local game store has to do or any business has to do. And the reason that we would do background checks is we've had a bad thing in the past where we didn't do it. And the guy was nice. I mean, he seemed like a, a nice guy and he got along with the team, but he did steal. This was at a previous startup, he did steal and that kind of alerted us and then we had him sign some paperwork so we could do some a background check and it turned out yeah he was a criminal and he was you no know, he he was stealing like that's what he went to jail for stealing stuff from a previous off uh, a previous company a much larger company than us and that's probably why that he worked for us extremely talented guy but at the end of the day when the guys taking the company card and charging personal expenses on it, it, it cannot end well. So back to the cost of, there's a lot of costs when you have a startup or you have any business. I'll go over my cost. Two days ago, we went on, uh, we took our photographer, graphic designers, and developer, one developer wanted to go, the other one said uh, he was too busy to go. But we took our, most of our team, eight of the 10 members of the team to go on a hike. We saw this very cute uh, mother deer with her baby and we have pictures on it, super cute. And we actually fed, I, I, wasn't, I didn't feed it a carrot because I was like, oh, this kind of looks kind of dangerous. But one of our photographer fed the baby deer a carrot and we have pictures of it, so it's really cool. But that is, you know, they, they were paid. They're paid to go on a exercise. When we go to that mystery room, I forget, they love it. Like my team loves it. It's like um, a lock, it's a room that you have to figure out some stuff. I'm sure that you guys know what it is. There's one like right next to my home. So whenever we go to that one and they call us whenever they have a new room, we do it as a team and guess who pays for their admission? I do, I do. Not from the company card, from my own card because it's team building. And the happier your team is, the harder they're gonna work for you. And we have some very talented individuals who could work for, I don't know, T-Mobile. That's where uh, Amy left. Amy, I don't know if many of you guys remember her. She was on the channel briefly. Amy left for T-Mobile. I think she only did like monthly, and then she did readings of uh, lore. And you guys didn't really like her as much as you liked Isabel. But yeah, and when Isabel got affected by the hurricane, See, one of the things that she did before she left to Colorado was she came by, dropped by, and we had a check for her to help her recover. We didn't need to do that, but we did because that's what, I mean, that check was equivalent to like, let's say, mm, let's say uh, 
20 background checks, maybe 40 background checks, right? And it was, quote, work at home, but no work product was produced during that time. It was mainly just to help her since we knew she would be going, she had to go home. Her home got flooded. And we do like company events. We have uh, Christmas parties, Thanksgiving parties where the food, you know, we have food glory we have chocolates coffee uh, anything in the home that I, I buy I use my own credit card my personal credit card and I buy all this stuff for them to eat uh, trail mix they're really big in trail mix now because we're going like hiking and the free Google products the um, the loot boxes they get to take home they get to take home a ton of toys from whenever we had like a loot box or sponsorship like that they get to take them home whoever opens it on video takes it home and on top of that, there's, we get so much free Google product and, you know, employees all take it home. It's the cost of business. So when someone says, oh, I can't afford a background check, it's like, you, A, do you know how much a background check is? And B, like, like, how are you still in business if you can't afford? We go out to eat to this really crappy Chinese place called China Star. It's as crappy as it sounds. But even with, uh, assuming, let's say Jess is around, Sophie's around, I'm here, uh, Presley has not been here, but she should have been here, uh, and then another developer in Austin. So let's say we have like six or seven people. Well, the tab for six or seven people, even at the crappiest Chinese restaurant where I live, is still going to run you 60 bucks, and that's like two background checks, right? So I don't get when people say like they cannot afford a background check. A, how much are you paying your employees? That, like this is like relevant, right? If you're paying your employees well, what's thirty dollars out of a yearly salary, right? Like so, I don't want to say like how much they make because that's bad, but I will say that we start pretty high for a startup, and after ninety days, if we want to keep you, it's about forty k. If we want to keep you, assuming you had no skill sets beforehand, and many of the people who work with us, they didn't, they weren't developers when they first started. They didn't actually have any skills, to be honest. I had to train them. Oh yeah, I'm a full stack developer, by the way. Of course, I used to be ranked number five in this uh, program called Team Treehouse. Out of three hundred thousand students, I was ranked five overall. In some areas, I was ranked like two. I, I used to have screenshots of all of this. But yeah, if you cannot afford a background check, you don't really have uh, the right to be in business, in my opinion, because $30 on a employee, even if that employee stays with you for a month as a percentage, uh, again, I don't know what they pay their employees, but assuming even if they pay them $10, Walmart pays employees $10 an hour. So assuming that an employee works 40 hours times four weeks, 106, so sixteen hundred dollars yeah we, we pay way more than sixteen hundred dollars a month i'll just throw that out there for you guys sixteen hundred dollars a month what is a thirty dollar background check on sixteen hundred dollars a month i mean what percentage is that that's insane that's assuming you're working at walmart of all places uh, so at the end of the day you you have to understand your employees are the most valuable asset to you because once you're done training them you have to hope they stay so I'll go tell you the story of Amy. So Amy, uh, she was on this channel. I really don't know if you guys remember her. Uh, she was also drawing on the anime channel. Amy was here for about three to four months. I trained her and then she left. That to me is a complete and utter failure on my part. I would li like them to stay. She got an offer from T-Mobile for double the salary. I offered her a higher salary, but not double. And then obviously she left for the bigger company and that's the life of a startup. That's why employees, but Jessica, for instance, she's been with me since almost the beginning and she could go anywhere she wanted. She could go to Facebook. If she had an offer on the table to go to Facebook and she asked for a minimal weight, uh, raise and stayed with us because she likes working from our home on Fridays. Now that we work more days, and she liked it. She loves the culture. She likes the people. And she likes having me as her boss. 
that's the only way my business survives is if I can attract top tier talent or I can train top tier talent. We are like the um, Oakland A's, right? We don't have the biggest budget, but if we treat people right, we respect them, we have dinners together, we have free chocolate, free coffee, free food, and every free salad, and we have cliff bars and trail mix and all this stuff they like. We have vegans. Uh, we have a few different vegans in our office. So we have vegan food, vegan friendly food. That's how you retain top level of talent. Uh, that's the only way to do it is at a start, at my business at least, is treat people respect. And one of the things you can do for those people is have a background check of the under employee. So nothing like what previously happened, happened. So uh, that's my opinion. My opinion is Man, background checks are incredibly cheap. I don't know why people don't do it. I don't know why people are fighting so hard not to do something that costs so little in the terms of employee. As a percentage, this is such a small percentage of cost. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.